In this video, I will be making those end screens when you get jump scared or complete the game. Also this is all I planned for the first FNAF game. The next videos will deal with the other games in the franchise. If you have mechanics you want to see from the first game that I might have forgotten or bugs, comment in the video. To start, go to your assets folder and import your images. I found these online. Now go to your enum folder, we need to create one to check if we got jump scared or completed a game. Create an enum and call it end screen type or something similar. Open it and we can add two or three options. First one is jump scared, the next one is completed night and the last is completed game. Now the completed night, I will ignore as there is no end screen since I created a 6am widget early on. Next, we create the user interface which is simply just an image. Right click and search for a user interface, call it end screen and open it up. At the top right, you can find palette, search for an image and add it to the canvas panel. Now click on anchor and there is the final button to anchor it to the whole screen. You can set all the offsets to zero and the image will fill the whole screen. I also made sure this image was a variable and renamed it to end screen image. Then we go to the event graph. Create a variable called end type. The variable type is the enum class that you created. Important to select instance editable and expose on spawn which makes it an option when we call the create widget node. Now compile and drag out your image. Search for a set brush from texture. This allows us to set our image. Now get a select node. Our condition will be the enum variable. This changes our select node to have our options. Now we can select our images. Select the ones you imported for your options. Now compile and save. Now open up your game mode since this is where we will manage the end screen. Find an empty place and search for a custom event. Call it go to end screen. This event will need one input. This will be the enum type that we created. Call it end screen type here too. Now this is optional but since I don't have an image for completed night, I am just going to use a branch to ignore it. From your input search for an equals enum select completed night next add a branch node on true we can call open level right main menu here on the false i am also going to optionally destroy all animatronics get all actors of class select master animatronics then search for each loop from the array element, search for a destroy actor. On completed, we can search for a create widget, select your end screen widget. If you pressed on expose on spawn, you will get this variable option that we created. Now we can connect the input of our event to this variable. Search for an add to viewport. Now add a delay. This delay can be short, a few seconds for the player to see the image. Now connect the delay to the open level node. The functionality is done now, we can just start calling it in the rest of the project. First, find the event that deals with your clock and night system. The main change is done at the end of this event. Here, you should have a check to see what night you are on. Delete the open level and just call the go to end screen functions. Make sure that you select the right option for the input. That is all done. The final one is jump scares and I have a special jump scare actor that manages it. However first, I am using an interface to call the event without casting. Go to your interface, it should be the game mode interface. Create a function and call it play end screen. Very important that the interface names are different to functions or there will be errors that breaks the blueprint. Next add an input for our enum type and call it end screen type. Compile and go back to the game mode, if you added the interface before then you can just check to the side to see function there. Right click and implement function, you will find this little event here and all you have to do is search for your go to end screen function that you created before. Now go to your jump scare actor, and here, you can find this timeline where on completed, 
it opens up the main menu. Similar to before, you just delete this open level node and right click, search for get game mode. Next from that game mode, search for play and screen. Make sure jump scared is selected, that is all we have to do, if it doesn't comment below or join the discord for help. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing and sharing. See you next time.